Have you guys ever wondered about playing chess? We'll chess this out. All right, we're going to be talking about uh, getting to know the pieces, uh, what the pieces do, and how to win. Uh, first off, the pieces are the puzzle. You have the king, the queen, the two rooks, uh, the two bishops, and then the two knights. And then you also have eight pawns. And how do the pieces move? All right. So this is the king. Oh, my gosh. Oops. All right. And basically, this is the most important piece on the chessboard. Uh, if this is checkmated, the game is over. Basically, uh, the king should be a piece that is not moved very much at all. It only moves one one way vertically, horizontally, depending on if it's getting checkmated or if it's in danger. Uh, the queen is the most powerful piece on the chessboard. It can move horizontally, vertically, uh, and it can move diagonal, which no other piece can do, just the queen. And if you do have the queen and say your opponent doesn't have the queen, then they might be at a slight disadvantage. The bishops, these are the ones that move diagonally. They, you get one, uh, you get two of them, but one on one color and one on the other color. They'll never switch. Uh, there's two knights, which are basically horses, if you want to call them that. Which they only move in L shapes. So, for instance, you could have it here. It can only move this way or it can move this way. It has to be in an L form. So, two spaces and then over, or one space and then over two. Um, and they are the only chess piece to hop over other chess pieces. And the rooks. The rooks are the ones that move only in a horizontally or vertically pattern. So basically a plus sign. Um, they only, they cannot tack sideways, or I mean uh, diagonally. And pawns. Pawns now are interesting because you only get, you get eight of them, but uh, from the initial starting point of the second line of defense, you can only move it two, but after that you can only move it one. So like you can move it one the first time if you wanted to, but the only time that you can move it to is from the initial starting spot. And if this uh, pawn does get to the other side without getting attacked, like say it hits a square before anybody else gets it, then it can get any piece back they've lost. Except the king, because then the game would be over. Oh, and uh, the pawns as well. Say there's a pawn here. And there's a pawn here. It can only, it can only attack, like uh, diagonally, and it can take the piece from there. But then it will still only have to go straight. And basically, how to win? It's simple, you know. Just checkmate the king. Uh, it's not actually that simple. Um, there's a lot of time to put in and strategic effort. Um, there are tournaments for chess that strike more than a million dollars just for a single game. Uh, the Million Dollar Chess 3, it's the third one they've ever had. Uh, it was in Atlantic City, October 6th through 10th in 2016. They have not made another Million Dollar Chess since, probably because it costs a lot of money. And let me explain. So um, in a more professional standard of chess, you do get a time. Um, it ranges from like 2 to uh, roughly like four, 4 or 5 minutes. And that's how much time you get to think and then move. And every time you move a piece and it's their turn, then you stop your clock. And if you run out of time before the game is over, then you lose that way too. Um, and a lot of people, like coaches, like chess coaches, like we have at AL, which is Mr. Kerger, um, he goes off of a, a graph, basically, math class. Yeah, A1, A2. And that's basically it. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.